B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. Let's do so much fun. Let's education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hello there, and welcome to the show. I'm Mike, and I'm Laura. And today, Laura, we're going to be traveling. Oh, Yay! cool! So finally, hopefully, if we're traveling, yeah, finally, hopefully, if we're traveling, it's because of it's a it's a vacation or a、hey. holiday. No one wants to travel for business or no. you know, something boring like that. We don't want that. But either way, if you're traveling, if you're going away from home, you will need to find somewhere to stay. <gasps> Unless you want to sleep in a park,、um, but that's、no. weird, and I think maybe、no. illegal. I think there are a lot of like choices now. Like, that's right.、Uh, as to where you can stay. There you go. There's、mm-hmm. the traditional hotel, motel,、right? B and B, inn,、yeah. things like that. Youth、mm-hmm. hostel. If you're on a budget, but、mm-hmm. you're right with all these apps like Airbnb. Oh, and, those are really good. And what's there's another one that my friend uses that I always forget the name of. It's it's similar to Airbnb.、Mm-hmm. It just has a different name. Yeah, you can actually find places to stay in people's homes, so you、um, don't need to stay in a hotel. Yeah, that's what I did when I went back to Australia a few years ago. And how did that work for you?、It、did you like、perfectly. Airbnb? No, no, no. I I stayed、oh. at my my. Friend's place. Oh, you stay at your friend's place.、Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. And if, of course, you know someone in the city you're visiting,、mm-hmm. that makes it easier and even better. That makes it cheaper. So, lots of options, and that's what we're going to be looking at in our dialogues for the next few days. So, let's check out our dialogue. The title is "Where Should You Stay on Your Next Trip?" Where should you stay on your next trip? You're going on vacation, hooray! But when you get there, where are you going to stay? There are lots of types of accommodations out there. Here are a few: hotels. From America to China, hotels are everywhere. Hotels. Have private rooms. You can sleep in them. They can be very expensive. One room at Emirates Palace in Dubai, UAE, even costs up to four hundred twenty-four thousand NT dollars. Hostels. Maybe you want to save some money. Or make new friends. Either way, try a hostel. Hostels are popular with young people. Taiwan has some really cool ones, like Meander Taipei. Lots of foreigners stay there, so you can practice English there too. Stay, stay. During their visit to Rome, Ben and Amy stayed in a hotel. During their visit to Rome, Ben and Amy stayed in a hotel. Private, private. This is a private beach. The woman in that big house over there owns it. This is a private beach. The woman in that big house over there owns it. Expensive, expensive. We can't go to the U.S. this year. The plane tickets are too expensive. We can't go to the U.S. this year. The plane tickets are too expensive. Foreigner, 
Foreigner. Many foreigners from the U.S. work as English teachers in Taiwan. Many foreigners from the U.S. work as English teachers in Taiwan. 认识字会 Accommodations. All right. So yes, as we mentioned, the dialogue, the article is titled "Where Should You Stay on Your Next Trip." It's a question, and it's one of those questions you need to、uh, answer before you leave. So let's look at the article. It says you're going on vacation. Hooray! Yes, definitely, we're going on vacation. This is a good、Whoa. thing. But the article continues. But when you get there, where are you going to stay?、Mm, what a good question!、Uh, and that's our topic. That's okay. So, yay! Because today, it's starting to be fun. Why? Because the author says, "You're going on vacation. Go on vacation." But that means you're going on vacation. So, 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 you're But, 但是当你到了那里，就是你的目的地，你要去旅游的地方，你要住在哪里 ？Where are you going to stay? There you go. And that word "stay" is both in that sentence we just read and in our title. So let's talk about it. It's a word power word. S T A Y is how we spell it. It's a verb. To stay is basically to not move, to go to a place and then not move from that place. Kind of like a tree,、um, but we also <laughs> use it when talking about living in a place that is not our home. So yeah, when you're on holiday, when you're away from home, you don't live in a hotel; you stay in a hotel. For example, we could say during their visit to Rome, Ben and Amy stayed in a hotel. During their visit to Rome, Ben and Amy stayed in a hotel. Okay, 没错啊，因为我们中文常常会说，哎，我要住在哪个饭店呢、啊？中文用住，但是英文呢？哎，其实就是表示短暂的住。我们要用 stay 这个动词，就有停留啊，或是待在哪边这样的意思。那当然，如果你住在你的家里，就要用 live。这时候你就可以用 I live in my home or my own place, right? But you only stay at or stay in a hotel，、mm -hmm. 就是待在这个旅馆里，除非你是常住，或者你是旅馆的老板之类的。那口语我们常提到的 stay overnight， 就是过夜。Like I stayed overnight at my sister's house， 就是我在我姐姐家。住宿一宿过夜。OK， 那看回刚刚的例句提到，就是 Ben 和 Amy 在他们哇去这个罗马的时间时期，他们住在一间这个旅馆里面 ，hotel。嗯哼 ，Yeah， so where do you stay？ And as the article next says， there are lots of types of accommodations out there， right？ We listed some of them at the beginning， hotels， inns， B and B， Airbnb， youth hostels。These are types of accommodations。Accommodations are basically places that you stay. Now, your home can also be your accommodation. That's where you live, but you know it could also be somewhere for a short term, which would be a hotel or something like that. Okay. 那当然呢，我们提到就是哎，出国要住哪边，其实有很多选择。因为课文就提到有很多的住宿形态。Okay, 这里有提到的呃、uh, ，accommodations 看起来有点长，有点难。啊，那通常我们是用它的复数型，就表示住宿、住所。不过这里要我们先停一下，因为提到了 there is, there are， 嗯，这样子要怎么用呢？我们当然要听一下我们的 magic box。Magic box， 找亮点。Look， there's a banana. 快点看，那里有个香蕉喂，大家好，我就是爱冒险的朵拉。哎，为什么看到香蕉会这么兴奋呢、啊？因为呢，我和我的朋友小猴子扑哧已经冒险了一整天都没有吃饭，快要饿死啦！看到香蕉，当然很兴奋呐、啊。但是扑哧，我们要等一等哦，在野外要特别小心，搞不好这个香蕉有毒哦。你可能知道哦，如果要表示人拥有什么东西，我们就要用动词 have。I have a dream. 我有一个梦想
但是如果我是我们中文说的那里有什么东西，哎，这个有呢，我们就不是用 have 了。这时候呢，我们就要用 there is 的句型来表达有什么东西在那边。比方说，我们刚刚看到了那边有香蕉 ，there is a banana。那里有一根香蕉，那里是哪里呢？我们可以在后面加上地方，让句子更完整。There is a banana on the desk. 有一根香蕉放在桌上。如果不止一根香蕉，是一串香蕉，那我们该怎么说呢？我们哦就说 There are some bananas on the desk. 那里有一些香蕉在桌上。注意到呢，当我们要说那里有的东西是复数的可数名词，比方说有一些香蕉，不止一根，而且呢，你可以算一个、两个的东西的时候，这时候呢，我们就用 there is 要变成 there are。知道 there is 和 there are 的用法呢，我们也可以用这个句型来问问题了。问那里有什么有两种方式，第一种呢，我们直接倒装。Is there OK? 这个是 Yes No 的是非题。比方说呢 ，Is there a lion in the zoo? 在动物园里面有狮子吗 ？Yes, there is. No, there isn't. 我们呢也可以搭配疑问词来造简答题了。例如呢 ，How many bananas are there on the desk? 桌上有多少香蕉啊 ？There is. There are. 那里有什么东西？你也学会了吗？ Okay, welcome back. So we were talking about there are lots of places we can go、mm-hmm. to stay, not exactly, to live. Exactly, that's right. When we're away from home for a few days on a holiday, for example, and here are a few we read in the article. So that means we're going to be giving some examples of types of accommodations that you can use. Okay, so 接下来课我们就可能要给我们一些哎选项，我们可以去哪里？住或是短期的住哦。那 here are a few， 就是这里是有一些，嗯，那 a few， 大家常常可能跟 few 这两个搞混。猜猜看 ，I have a few friends， 跟 I have few friends， 就是没有那个呃，是差在哪呢 ？OK， a few 其实就是一些几个。OK， 所以 I have a few friends， 就是我有一些朋友。OK， 还不错。但是 few 少了那个呃。它其实就是几乎没有，嗯，那所以如果你要说我有几个朋友，说成了 I have few friends， 人家可能觉得你很可怜，没有朋友哦。Now we are going to be looking at a few places or accommodations we can stay at, right? That's right. So here's the first one. Next it says hotels. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and yes, it says right after we read hotels from America to China. And I guess you could say from I don't know what's in the north, Norway to Australia, hotels are everywhere. They're easy to find. All big cities and small towns will have at least one hotel. For sure. Okay. So, 一开始的种类大家最熟悉一定就是 hotels， 就是饭店、酒店。那课文就提到，从美国到中国。啊，其实或者是任何可以其他的国家啦，饭店到处都是。他是要强调哪里都有 hotels。Okay, and one thing about hotels is next it says hotels have private rooms. You can sleep in them. Yeah, you'll be having you'll you won't be sharing the room. You'll have your own room. Hmm, that's why everybody you know prefers to stay in a hotel. Sure, why not? Because 饭店里呢有你可以睡在里面的私人房间 And here we see the word private.、Mm-hmm. If something is private, this adjective basically means it's not for everyone to use. It's only for a few people to use. It's spelled P R I V A T E. Yeah, and if something's private, it's only for a small number of people. Maybe for you, the person who owns it. If it's a hotel room, it's for the person who is paying for it. So that means that not anyone can just walk in and use this thing. All right, your home is private too. The opposite would be public. Something that is public is for everyone. All right, so a bus or a train; those are public. For example, this is a private beach. The woman in that big house over there owns it. This is a private beach. The woman in that big house over there owns it. Private 这个形容词就是私人的。嗯，像是你们去的是私立学校还是公立学校呢 ？A private school 就是私立学校 ，A public school 就是我们刚才提到它的相反词 ，public 就是公众的、公共的，所以 public school 就是公立学校。
。OK， 那常常我们看到的呃，就像是 Private Life， 就是哎，其实这个明星都不喜欢你去探索他的 Private Life， 就是私生活。那看回刚刚的例句提到的 a private beach， 就是指一座私人沙滩。那刚刚提到就是哦，那边它属于那间大房子里的女人呃所拥有的这样的意思哦。All right, so hotels can be great. They're private. You have your own room. A lot of them have lots of services and facilities you can use. But as we mentioned, they do cost more. Than some of the other places you can stay, as it says, they can be very expensive. They can cost a lot of money, and here's an example of one that costs a crazy amount of money. One room at Emirates Palace in Dubai, UAE, even costs up to four hundred twenty-four thousand NT dollars for one night. That's、oh. one night. You're not buying that. Okay. That's very expensive. We're now talking about this. This rich upper class can afford to stay in hotels. We're talking about the hotels. They can be very expensive. Because in the Emirates Palace, the hotel room is one hundred twenty-four thousand NT. Can you imagine how much it costs? Even the room that they rent for one night costs more than that. Let's calculate it. I'm going to calculate it. Let's 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 calculate it. O M G, that's、mm. super expensive. Very expensive, and yes, if we're talking about big amounts of money, expensive is an adjective we often use. E X P E N S I V E is how we spell it. And yeah, if something costs you a lot of money, it's expensive. If something has a big price on it, it's expensive. And usually, of course, we talk about something being expensive. When we compare it to other things that are like it, right? So we can find hotel rooms that cost what a thousand or two thousand NT dollars a night. So four hundred twenty-four thousand is very expensive. For example, we can't go to the U.S. this year. The plane tickets are too expensive. We can't go to the U.S. this year. The plane tickets are too expensive. Maybe if you're trying to go at Christmas time、mm. or in the middle of the summer. Yeah, plane tickets can be very expensive. Can cost a lot of money. Maybe you should consider Elan or Hualien. Yeah, or yeah, I could do that. <laughs> that wouldn't shouldn't be too expensive. But I can't go to Disneyland. No,、uh. expensive 就是昂贵的哦，就是个形容词。相反词当然就是 cheap. Okay, 就是便宜的啦。C H E A P. 任何东西都可能很昂贵哦，像是 an expensive car， 昂贵的车啦 ，expensive clothes， 就是很贵的衣服。I don't really buy expensive clothes. No. I try not to, at、okay, least. Okay, good. Or you can even talk about somebody has expensive tastes.、Mm. That means this person likes expensive things. 就是如果你喜欢昂贵的东西，就可以说 I have expensive tastes. OK， 那刚刚的例句是提到我们今年不能去美国，因为怎么样 ？Plane tickets， 飞机票太贵了，贵松松哦。嗯，那刚刚还有看到 up to something，OK，、okay, 是后面接一个数字或数量 ，OK， 就是表示可以达到某个数量或是水准。Okay, so let's find out more. Besides hotels,、mm-hmm. where can we stay at? Well, if hotels are expensive, let's go to the other end of the money scale and find somewhere that's not expensive. That's the opposite, somewhere cheap, and that's the next place we find hostels, hostels or youth hostels, as、mm-hmm. they're sometimes called.、It、says hostels. Maybe you want to save some money or. Make new friends.、Mm, nice. Okay, hostels. Okay, 或是刚刚我们提到 youth hostels 就是青年旅馆。Okay, 所以或许呢，你如果想要省钱啦，或是交一些新的朋友，哎，就可以试试看 hostels. All right. It says either way. So if you want to save money or make new friends, no matter what, either way, try a hostel. And then it tells us hostels are popular with young people. Yeah, young people generally, you know, they don't need a big fancy hotel. Maybe they don't have the money or don't want to spend the money on a big fancy hotel. Since young people stay there, that's why they are they are sometimes called youth hostels. Y o u t h youth meaning young people. Can I go then? Because you can、um, go. Anyone、oh, can go. Okay. They、yeah. don't. They don't check your age. I don't feel okay.、Just、I don't feel if, young anymore. If you're over, you know, thirty-five, <laughs> you might feel old when、oh, you're there. But、okay. if you're young at heart, why not? Okay. So, 不论你是想要省钱，或是交一点新朋友。
不论是怎么样 ，either way or either way， 就是不论是哪种哦，你都可以试试看。Hostels 就是青年旅馆，因为呢，青年旅馆很受年轻人的欢迎。刚刚我们提到的 either way, either way, OK， 就是无论两者中的哪一种情况。比方像是 you can get there by train or bus. Either way, you know, it'll take an hour. 去那边你想要坐火车或是这个巴士都可以。不过怎么样选的话，都得。All right, and it says Taiwan has some really cool ones like Meander Taipei. So that's the name of a hostel right here in Taipei, Taiwan. 嗯，原来台湾呢也有一些真的很酷的哦，就是青年旅社，像是台北漫步旅店，就是 Meander Taipei。那其中他提到的 cool ones， 这里的 ones 指的当然就是我们前面提到的 hostels， 青年旅馆。And here's something cool. Lots of foreigners stay there, so you can practice English there too. Well,、nice. yeah, that's true. But hostels all over the、oh, place,、nice. all over the world. Yeah, lots of tourists speak English, and many of the people who stay in hostels, especially the ones here in Taiwan, would be foreigners. This word, power word, foreigner, f o r e i g n e r, is a noun. It's a person from a foreign land, not from the country that they are currently in. So I'm from Canada. I'm a foreigner who lives in Taiwan. But if you're from Taiwan and you go to Japan or Korea or Australia, you will be a foreigner in that country. Only if you have a passport and you're in the country where you were born or where the passport is from. Only then you are not a foreigner. But as soon as you go to another country, you will be a foreigner. For example, many foreigners from the U.S. work as English teachers in Taiwan. Many foreigners from the U.S. work as English teachers in Taiwan. Hmm. Okay. We're going to look at foreigner. I think you all are not foreign. It's a foreigner. It's a noun. Okay. That, of course, if you go to other places, you may be called a foreigner. But I think it's more than that. Because it's not just the foreigners. It's people from other countries. So, I often use the word foreigners to mean people from other countries. 嗯，不同的国家的人，像是 I like meeting people from other countries， 可能会比嗯 I like meeting people，I like meeting foreigners 会好一点点啦。那看回刚刚的例句，许多来自这个美国的外国人，他在台湾当英文老师哦。Well, that comes to the end of today's article. Let's now go to our review time. Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。Okay, are we gonna play a game for our review time? Let's play. What are we gonna play? I don't know. What are we gonna play? Guess the word. Guess the word. Or okay. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks.、Mm -hmm. Guess the word that you need to fill in the blank. There you go. We'll combine the games. Okay. okay. So what were our words? Stay, private, expensive, and foreigner. All right. Well, you know what I say.、Uh -huh. Many blanks from different countries like to blank in blank hotels. Oh, okay. Ah, How's that? Ah, Many foreigners. Many foreigners like to stay in. Stay. Did you say blank blank? Blank hotels, expensive hotels. Because they're blank. Because they are private. Wow! Look at that. <laughs> Four in one. That is an amazing accomplishment. I am tired. I am so. I am exhausted. That was so hard, but、I、well、know. done. There you go. So there's a challenge for you guys. That was Can、fun. you do a fill in the blank where you use all the words in one sentence, or even two of the words? Yeah, in one sentence、you、would be a, a good challenge. Try that.、Um, check into a hostel. <laughs> no, we don't have a lot of homework for you because、yeah. we want you to come back tomorrow. Yes. So don't go on a trip tonight, but do come back tomorrow and join us for part two of our look at places to stay while you are on vacation. We'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye. Where should you stay on your next trip? You're going on vacation, hooray! But when you get there, where are you going to stay? There are lots of types of accommodations out there. Here are a few: hotels. From America to China, hotels are everywhere. 
Hotels have private rooms. You can sleep in them. They can be very expensive. One room at Emirates Palace in Dubai, UAE, even costs up to four hundred twenty-four thousand NT dollars. Hostels. Maybe you want to save some money or make new friends. Either way, try a hostel. Hostels are popular with young people. Taiwan has some really cool ones, like Meander Taipei. Lots of foreigners stay there, so you can practice English there too. Stay, stay. During their visit to Rome, Ben and Amy stayed in a hotel. During their visit to Rome, Ben and Amy stayed in a hotel. Private, private. This is a private beach. The woman in that big house over there owns it. This is a private beach. The woman in that big house over there owns it. Expensive, expensive. We can't go to the U.S. this year. The plane tickets are too expensive. We can't go to the U.S. this year. The plane tickets are too expensive. Foreigner, foreigner. Many foreigners from the U.S. work as English teachers in Taiwan. Many foreigners from the U.S. work as English teachers in Taiwan. Accommodations.